Never pay more when you shop round four. Performance Toyota. Hello, Butler County High School sports enthusiasts. You're dialed in to another live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Tonight, we're inside the Cougar Den at Cincinnati Christian Schools, where it is the Cincinnati Christian Cougars hosting the new Miami Vikings in a boys basketball Miami Valley Conference Butler County Rival Showdown. Hello, everybody. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt. We're so glad you could join us this evening for what we're expecting to be a fun-filled evening on the hardwood, brother. Chris, thanks for having me back again. Uh, tonight, it's a colossal matchup <laughs> uh, for the, uh, in, a, in the MVC. Uh, it's the Vikings and the Cougars. Uh, it's going to be a fun one. Oh, Joey, we, uh, we saw these two programs last year. We uh, uh, broadcast them on our, on our radio network. We're going to the video uh, uh, side of things tonight so that you guys can enjoy this, uh, the, the, what, this Titanic struggle oh, this Lord. evening. So, well, we're going to go and say hey to our sponsors real quick before we get to tip and starting lineups. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Performance Toyota, located on Route 4 in Fairfield. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Matandy Steel Metal Products, a proud sponsor of Baden Athletics. Successphoto.com, providing memorable images of Butler County's high school student-athletes. C3 Contracting. Pole barns and garages built by C3 Contracting. Call 513-519-4656 today for a complimentary quote on your next building product. Serving all of Butler County. Minix drive through Providing speedy, convenient service throughout many locations in Butler County. Minix drive through Bird's Grill and Bar. Located in Fairfield's Village Green. Our Fan of the Day sponsor. And Rick's Tavern and Grill located on Route 4. Our Performer of the Week gift certificate sponsor. I'm Jerry Snodgrass, Executive Director of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. One of my long-standing goals is to help people understand that high school sports are about so much more than wins and losses. The OHSAA promotes education-based athletics, where sports are an extension of the classroom. Our schools all want to win, but at the end of the day, it's all about sportsmanship, leadership, and making sure that academics are a priority. Thank you for your support of high school sports. We thank you for listening to a live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Report's YouTube channel. We encourage you to check out our website at www.bchssreport.com for all your local prep sports results, stories, and student-athlete features. Enjoy the rest of the game. Hey, this is Joey Vogt for The Report. One thing we strive to do here at The Report is recognize the local high school student-athletes and their accomplishments to the best of our abilities, which is the reason why we partnered up with Performance Toyota and Rick's Tavern to crown a Performer of the Week. We choose a student athlete from each of our coverage area schools from any sports and let family, friends, and your school vote in the report's Performer of the Week poll on our website. Tell us who you think should be in our Performer of the Week poll, and most importantly, enjoy the rest of the broadcast. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Performance Toyota, located on Route 4 in Fairfield. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Matandy Steel Metal Products, a proud sponsor of Baden Athletics. Successphoto.com, providing memorable images of Butler County's high school student-athletes. C3 Contracting, pole barns and garages built by C3 Contracting. Call 513-519-519. 4656 today for a complimentary quote on your next building product, serving all of Butler County. Minix drive through providing speedy, convenient service throughout many locations in Butler County. Minix drive through Bird's Grill and Bar, located in Fairfield's Village Green, our Fan of the Day sponsor, and Rick's Tavern and Grill, located on Route 4, our Performer of the Week gift certificate sponsor. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. 
We're here at the Cougar Den as we're moments away from tip-off between the Cincinnati Christian Cougars and the Miami Vikings. Uh, Joey, both of these programs aren't shy about pushing the ball. Uh, CCS coming into this one at 6-5 and five overall, 3-2 and two in the Miami Valley Conference Scarlet, while New Miami just coming off their second loss of the season against CHCA. Uh, they are sitting at 9-2 and two overall, 4-1 in the Miami Valley Conference. Gray. Uh, they, you know, they have their own little fingerprints, Joey, uh, in terms of how they play. But from your perspective, what, what do you think we'll be seeing tonight? Uh, I definitely think we'll be seeing a lot of <laughs> fast-paced basketball uh, coming out, especially uh, from Cincinnati Christian. They like to, uh, like, you know, keep it a little fast-paced. And then New Miami likes to play at their own pace. So it's, gonna, it's like a counteractive uh, counteract the basketball going on there but um, we have a lot of talent on the court tonight and I'm definitely excited to see what KJ Swain does yep. for Satay Christian and then New Miami Deonza Duncan. Hey there's something special about him tonight isn't it? Five points away from 1,000. Well, you know, odds are he's going to get it. I mean, just looking at his average <laughs> on the stat sheet, um, I'd be very surprised if he doesn't score five points. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, hey, go run it in the starting lineups here. Uh, junior K.J. Swain, he's a guard. we got sophomore guard Logan Woods. Junior forward Kai Vance. Senior forward Cameron Rogers. And junior forward Devin McKinnon. Carl Woods is at the helm of the Cougars while Jared Lee is running the Vikings program. Uh... Player-wise, like we said, there are a lot of playmakers on the court in, in this Division Three contest, and we're going to eye that new Miami program right there. A lot of juniors right oh, there, Joey. It's going to be exciting to see what they can uh, produce tonight. Cincinnati Christian, I'm going to tell you one thing. They have to make their shots if they want to keep uh, keep the pace with new Miami. Uh, junior guard, Jordan Robinette. Uh, junior guard, Deonza Duncan. Senior forward, Elijah Faulkner. And senior forward, Danny Spivey. Junior guard, Trey Robinette. Just running down the, 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 the statistics. The statistics are just astounding when you're looking at New Miami's uh, ba basketball program right now. Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, De De Deonta Duncan averaging 23.7 points a game. Uh, looking at number two. Number two in Butler County at the moment. Yeah. Uh, just below Madison's Grant Wisman. We're here at the Cougar Den. We're, uh, we're right next to the <laughs> to the pet band. We should have worked that out with uh, Cincinnati, uh, Cincinnati Christian Athletic Director um, Steve Gillins. But we're going to be moments away from tip-off here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt for this Miami Valley Conference boys basketball bout here. This is our first time in this gym this year. Rather surprised with that. Uh, huh? Yeah. Somebody's got to cover <laughs> Cincinnati Christian in New Miami, right? We might as well. Tell you what, here's another a few important things to look at. Robinette and Woods. Uh, they're the top two in assists in the uh, MVC. So, they're, you know, they're going to be slinging out some assists tonight. Got Devin McKinnon doing the jumping duties alongside Elijah Faulkner. And it's picked up by New Miami. Deonza Duncan, got, he's got the ball, and that's going to be the guy you're going to keep an eye on. <laughs> like we said, five points away from 1,000. Man-to-man -man defense by the Cincinnati Christian Cougars. Trey Robinette, jumping to the right side, dishes it off to his brother Jordan Robinette. Right next to the Cougar down over there, Joe. <laughs> It's American night. <laughs> Trey Robinette trying to set something up, running a little bit of motion offense here. Elijah Faulkner fakes the screen. Trey Robinette says, I'll take it myself. Dish it off to Faulkner. Good Faulkner defense back here to by Jordan Robinette. Christian. Not letting him anywhere near the basket. Cincinnati Christian's going to probably stick to a man-to-man -man defense yep. because they know that New Miami is going to run that Hey. This is going to be a me basketball game. If I'm hot, they're going to go to that guy. Absolutely. Deonta Duncan's got the ball. Dishes it off to Jordan Robinette. Jordan Robinette to Trey. Trey from the outside. Boom! Ay! Trey Robinette puts first three points on the board. It's 3 nothing, New Miami. The new Miami uh, coming out tonight. You know, I was going to make the exact comment. <laughs> More new Miami right? fans here than Cincinnati Christian. 
Good drive. Good floater. Nice floater by Devin McKinnon. He's got himself two points. Three to two if you're just tuning in. It's very loud here in the Cougar Den. <laughs> Jordan Robinette doing the dribbling, guarded by Logan Woods. The foul on Logan foul Woods out. on the ground, yep. Now it's going to be a spot foul out of bounds. Oh, turn it over. Defense, set, turnover. The Cougar didn't give it the eyes of Duncan a little bit of grief. Uh, that's what you would get inside his head. You know, make make him feel the pressure. I'm pretty sure the Cougar Den knows that he's five points away. <laughs> Logan Woods will be doing most of the ball handling. Long three off the mark. Good Rebounded point. by Spivey. And that's hit out of bounds, and oh, Spivey yeah. knocked it out of bounds. We're going to stay right here at Cincinnati Christian's ball. Got him in the corner. Oh. Yeah, that was uh, Cameron Rogers over there. Logan Woods Wide built him a net. We're going to see a lot of three tonight. Since I Christian going with the three fourth full court press there. Could Lost be. the dribble. Here it comes. Uh -oh. Logan Woods laying it good. Uh -oh. Seven to three. Since I Christian out to the quick lead. Oh, there he is. Elijah Fulker making a mistake. This is what you want for Cincinnati Christian early on. Fluster New Miami. Make, yes. them, make them make their own mistakes. Kai Vance on that attempted dunk from the inbounds <laughs> pass. Kai Vance on the outside. Dribbles up there. Loses the nice control. Pass. Go oh, Faulkner. I think he got the, uh, the arm there. Logan Woods goes up for a quick shot, and he gets clipped in the arm by Elijah Faulkner. That'll be his first personal foul, team's first. Logan Woods in the line for two. Logan Woods' first shot is in. We got a 70.6 free throw percent for Woods. Yeah, he's good. He's good. If you're hitting three out of your four free throws at the high school level, <laughs> you're, you're, uh, you're sitting sweet. Logan Woods, second shot, and that's in. CCS out to a 9-3 lead, 5.28 left to play here in his first quarter. Going with a relaxed press here. Deontay Duncan from the oh. outside. Oh. 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 <laughs> Woo! Two more. Deonza Duncan two away from a thousand career points as a junior. Backdoor pass to Logan Woods, and that's a walk. Yeah, they didn't yep. call that. Nine to five with five minutes left to play in this first quarter. Yeah, we did that baden Femwick girls basketball game. We didn't see a timeout until 50 seconds oh, yeah, left in yeah. the first quarter. That's probably what's going to be here at the Cougar Den. Trey Robinette gets a screen from Spivey. Spivey Ooh. looking for that inbounds, that inside oh. pass away. And there's Deontay Duncan. Oh. 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 He got himself a thousand. He is hyped up. Nine to seven. It's nice. Christian still holding on with that two-point lead. We're looking to check in is Jaron Phillips. New Miami's got that man-to-man -man defense here. Elijah Faulkner out on Kai Vance. Kai Vance stops. A little baby jumper off the mark. Good board. Faulkner with the board. Trey Robinette slowing it up. He reaching the four-minute mark of this first quarter. Ball gets back into Dion's and Duncan's hands. Jordan Robinette drives in the lane off the board. Hey, oh, he's going nice. back. Jordan Robinette went in there, poked it That's in. It's going to be a foul. A foul on Devin McKinnon.
both programs got themselves up to Dayton last year, and I'd imagine it would be no different oh, here yeah. as well. And both teams are capable of doing that again. Deonza Duncan from way downtown, oh. Joey. Oh. <laughs> Good steal. Rebound. I think he traveled before. Yeah. Got a little excited. Didn't expect yeah. to get that board. And <laughs> <laughs> Got himself a piece of the happy feet. At halftime, we'll be joined by Miami Valley Conference Sports Information Director Kevin Dinette. Always a pleasure talking to him, talk uh, all things Miami Valley Conference. Kai Vance backing up Spivey. That's back out to Logan Woods. Logan Woods out to Devin McKinnon. KJ Swain. Cameron Rogers. Cameron Rogers guarded by Jaron Phillips. From the outside, nothing but that. It's a dynamite. KJ Swain. 12 to 7. Dude, this is going to be an <laughs> exhausting game. Exhausting game. Jordan Robinette drives. Looking for it. That's right. That's a body, yep. Got himself a body. And like you said, Joe, we're going to go to line for two. Robinette, a 71% free throw shooter. Robinette off the back of the rim. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt here at the Cougar Den, New Miami. Off to a slugger start. CCS take advantage of it. 12 to 7 right now with 2.53 left to play in the first quarter. Jordan Robinette sinks the second one. CCS keeping that four-point lead. K.J. Swain setting things up. He's guarded by Deonza Duncan. Dish off to Devin McKinnon. Devin McKinnon back to Winston uh -oh. Spencer. From the outside, K.J. Swain is on. Hot hands. K.J. Swain with back-to-back -back tray bombs. Jordan Robinette drives, gets a little bit of a, trying to get a body. Board. Yep. Spivey's going to go to line for two after the offensive rebound. Hitting the boards. And one thing we didn't mention in pregame, Joe, is that Ronnie Bauman graduating a force inside. And I tell yep. you what, a good substitution, a good pickup was Elijah Faulkner. Yeah. I will say this, though. Faulkner has... A little bit more of a range game, but I tell you what, nobody like Ronnie Bowman ended up banging the boards like he did. When, when he got that 1,000 in, uh, in Dayton, that was fun to watch. Spivey sinks both. 15 to 10, two minutes here and counting, remaining in this first quarter. Devin McKinnon slowing things up. This is off to KJ Swain, the hot hand. Hot, one hot hand guarding the other hot hand. <laughs> Keep an eye on that one. Screen by McKinnon. McKinnon stops, oh. pops. If it's there, he's got it. Oh, good step back. They called it a three. I don't know. We get a little replay on that, Joey. <laughs> All right. You might want to call the bomb squad tonight because they're chalking up some three bombs. That's a charge. Trey Robinette got the charge. Got it with the shoulder. Can't lean in. Boy, Woods has his kids fired up. This, this is really, if you think about it, it could be a statement win for Cincinnati Christian Absolutely. tonight. Well, I'm pretty sure that, you know, Carl Woods doesn't, you know, I would imagine they, they wouldn't want to see those, lo uh, those losses in his loss column. Yeah. But you're exactly right. A statement win is what it would be for Cincinnati Christian right here. K.J. Swain. Nice, good nice defensive play. play by Jaron Phillips. Trey Robinette to Deontay no Duncan. Deontay Duncan from way outside. Oh. Wow. Wow. Are you kidding me? That was a four-point shot. 
That man can shoot. Hey, and the crazy thing is, DeAndre Duncan shot him further away. <laughs> KJ Swain setting it back up under a minute to play here in his first opening. It's opening quarter, 18 to 13. I'm exhausted already. <laughs> As nice. Cody Anderson drive, Good D. loses the ball and is picked up by Danny Spivey. Here comes Trey Robinette the other way. Cody Anderson gives it a little bump and gets away with it. Trey Robinette lead, drive to the hoop. It's a foul. Yeah, we're going to yeah. call a foul on Winston Spencer. If there's one thing um, that this game was going to be filled, of, uh, <laughs> filled with, it's going to be a lot of physicality here. <laughs> Trey Robinette inbound, 28 ticks left to go in the first quarter. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt if you're just tuning in. We haven't seen a timeout yet. No. Go. Spivey out to Deonza Duncan. Deonza Duncan, nice drive. Dish nice out to Phillips. Dish. Phillips over to Trey Robinette. Trey Robinette drives. And he got it. Another one. And one opportunity for Trey Robinette. Short on that one. Rebound by Cameron Roger. Here comes Logan Woods. Logan uh -oh, Woods wide open. Left side to Tyler Hubbard. That's off the mark. Here comes the last shot from New Miami. On the outside. Duncan oh. drive, no good, and that's going to be the end of the quarter. New Miami. Closing that gap. Take a breath. Yeah. <laughs> 18 to 15. We're going to take a break. Catch a breath here. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Performance Toyota, located on Route 4 in Fairfield. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Matandi Steel Metal Products, a proud sponsor of Baden Athletics. Successphoto.com, providing memorable images of Butler County's high school student athletes. C3 Contracting. Pole barns and garages built by C3 Contracting. Call 513-519-4656 today for a complimentary quote on your next building product. Serving all of Butler County. Minix drive through Providing speedy, convenient service throughout many locations in Butler County. Minix drive through Bird's Grill and Bar. Located in Fairfield's Village Green. Our Fan of the Day sponsor. In Rick's Tavern and Grill, located on Route 4, our Performer of the Week gift certificate sponsor. We thank you for listening to a live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Report's YouTube channel. We encourage you to check out our website at www.bchssreport.com for all your local prep sports results, stories, and student-athlete features. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Report Network. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt. Uh, fast first quarter, uh, Joey. Fast. Cut, cut our breath a little bit. Up tempo. 18 to 15. Cincinnati Christian has the margin. KJ Swain guarded by Deonza Duncan. Logan Woods by Jordan Robinette. That's underneath to Devin McKinnon. Devin McKinnon Good off luck. the high band. travel, though. Joey, the proverbial <laughs> referee from upstairs. <laughs> I watch Kentucky basketball way too much, Chris. <laughs> well, they travel a lot. Of oh, work. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't know how to take a dribble. Deonza Duncan over to Elijah Faulkner for Ooh. three. And he knocks Damn. it down. All knotted up. 18-18. Kai Vance from the outside. Oh, That's no good. Rebound Elijah Faulkner. Poor Faulkner. New Miami has an opportunity to take the lead here. It's been all CCS with the advantage. Duncan! Deonza Duncan. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Hey. Uh well, now. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. He almost made it in a trash can over there. You see that? 
Logan Woods thought about a Lone Ranger. Uh, Kai like, Vance up top. You give any of these players open shots, they're not afraid to take right. them, even if they're behind the gray. <laughs> Good board again by Faulkner. Cameron Rogers had a little bit of a... He got no help from that rim. Good save by Demi McKinnon. We're back the other direction. Logan Wood stops. Drives, takes in the middle. Good floater. He's got himself two. 20 to 18, 620 left to go in his first half. Jordan Robinette slowing it up. Guarded by Logan Wood. A lot of ball dribblers here. Screen by Elijah Faulkner. Ooh. Trey Robinette driving, dishes off to Jordan Robinette from the outside. No good. Elijah good Faulkner board. with the board. Sierra Bella with oh. the right hand. Brandon Sierra Bella. And Logan Woods in the hoop, no good, and here comes New Miami yeah, yeah. back the other direction. At halftime, we'll have Miami Valley Conference Sports Information Director Kevin Dinette at halftime. We'll talk to him about all things Miami Valley Conference, New Miami, Society Christian, Trey Robinette, pump fake. Like pump fake. Off the mark. Rebound by Cameron Rogers. Devin McKinnon dribbling inside the paint. Stops, pops. No good. Elijah Falcon with the board. Jordan Robinette doesn't, doesn't want to slow it up. Ooh. Jordan Robinette dribbles with the left Watch hand. That charge. Out. Chris, you said it earlier about Faulkner. What a replacement for Bowman. We'll go through our three keys of the game here at a timeout, Joey. <laughs> We're going to see if they're right. We might be doing this in the second half. <laughs> I want to thank Cincinnati Christian Athletic Director Steve Gillins for hooking us up for prime seating every time we come here to the Cougar Den. Logan Woods setting the play up here for Cincinnati Christian. Dishes it on over to Devin McKinnon. He finds Cameron Rogers. McKinnon again. Rogers again. And he oh, won. yeah, he did. I want to thank Cincinnati Christian senior. Kira Becker, she is handling the camera duties today. Wants to learn about what the Butler County High School Sports Report's all about. She's into journalism. Nice oh, look pass. Oh, you saw that. No look pass from KJ Swain to Logan Woods, and that was batted out of bounds. Oh. Uh, foul on Jordan Robinette, and it's going to go to the line for two is Logan Woods. Four nineteen left to play here in the second quarter. All knotted up at twenty. Ideally, this is what we were expecting. Yeah. Right here, First one's in. And Kira's clapping. You're not clapping. It's full. Absolutely. Logan Woods sinks both of them. 22-20. Cincinnati Christian up on top of New Miami. In this Miami Valley Conference Butler County rival showdown. For just tuning in, I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt. Joey, Cincinnati Christian looked like they had their early advantage there. And then uh, New Miami marched back. Wise decision on yeah. 
Deion's a dunk and a call a timeout. We'll call a timeout as well. 22 to 24, five left to go in this first quarter, uh, first half. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. I'm Jerry Snodgrass, Executive Director of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. One of my long-standing goals is to help people understand that high school sports are about so much more than wins and losses. The OHSAA promotes education-based athletics, where sports are an extension of the classroom. Our schools all want to win, but at the end of the day, it's all about sportsmanship, leadership, and making sure that academics are a priority. Thank you for your support of high school sports. Welcome back to the Cougar Den. It is 22 to 20. 405 left to play here. Spivey gets the inbounds pass from Deonza Duncan. Deonza Duncan drives to the lane. Gets a body shot from yep. Cameron Rogers. He'll go to the line for two. Love how Duncan drives to the drives to the paint there. Well, if you're looking at New Miami size, there's definitely a a relatively size advantage for Cincinnati Christian. I'm not going to say too big of a size advantage, but it looks like Cincinnati Christian works well inside yeah. the paint using their size as opposed to New Miami, who's predominantly an outside team. Yeah, well, I mean, if you're New Miami, you get, use that advantage to go to the hoop, make the fouls, you know, go to the line. And this is exactly like what we're doing with Deion's and Duncan. Deion's Duncan has an opportunity to tie it up. Sinks it, 22 all. Under four to play in this first half. Uh-oh. KJ Swain's hurt. Yeah, KJ Swain's hurt. Hard. We're, we're going to go ahead and take a break. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Hey, this is Joey Vogt for The Report. One thing we strive to do here at The Report is recognize the local high school student athletes and their accomplishments to the best of our abilities, which is the reason why we partnered up with Performance Toyota and Rick's Tavern to crown a performer of the week. We choose a student athlete from each of our coverage area schools from any sports and let family, friends, and your school vote in the report's performer of the week poll on our website. Tell us who you think should be in our performer of the week poll and most importantly, enjoy the rest of the broadcast. KJ Swain hits the bench real quick. OHSAA rules say it's that if you are hurt, you hit the bench. Yeah. Deonta Duncan slapped with a foul. That's his first personal foul. He's got nine points today, so he's got 1,004 points. <laughs> As a junior. As a junior. That's impressive. In county. KJ Swain underneath to Kai Vance. Kai Vance outside. Wide to Devin open. McKinnon. Hits the backboard. No good. Should be yeah, off New Miami. Yeah. That was off of Ciavella. We'll stay right here. CCS ball. Checking out is Kai Vance. Checking in is Winston Spencer. The Cougar Den sporting the USA theme today. KJ Swain off the mark. Rebound the Faulkner. Faulkner. Faulkner taking over the rebound duties <laughs> from... <laughs> from Ronnie Bowman, who graduated last year. Trey Robinette stops, dribbles inside the paint, shot, no good. Faulkner skies oh. up there. We're going to stay right here, and it looks like Cody Anderson's going to slap with a foul. And looks like New Miami is going to be seeing a one-on-one -on -one bonus. One-on-one, -on -one, yep. Faulkner heading to the line. Got a 52.6% uh, free throw shooter for Faulkner. Faulkner no good. Rebound by Devin McKinnon. Winston Spencer hands it off to Logan Woods who finds K.J. Swain and sets up the offensive play for the Cougars. Man-to-man -man defense is sported by the new Miami Vikings. You know what, Chris? I'll try to get inside the vans, that size advantage. There it is. That's a travel. <laughs> Kai 
Ty Vance and Richter having the old uh, tra <laughs> traveling syndrome there like we saw with uh, Talawanda. I think that's his third travel tonight. And put the ball on the ground before you make those steps. Yep. Jordan Robinette brings it up. Pick and roll from Jaron Phillip. Trey Robinette. That's a charge. He gave him a charge on that. Yeah. Trey Robinette with the charge. I'm going to uh -oh. agree with this call. You can't push off. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was clear. You can't push off on that. The new Miami contingent disagrees. And so does Jared Lee. He's given referee on the far end a mouthful. Devin McKinnon spin, picks up his dribble, gives it to KJ Swain, who stops, pops, no good. Rebound, Jaron Phillips. Here comes Deion Duncan. Duncan. Deion, Deion Duncan won't stop. Lays it up, no good. Rebound, Spivey. Spivey up and in. Beautiful. New Miami takes their first lead of the game. Pardon me, second lead of the game. Secondly, yeah. Deion Duncan gave them a quick lead to start the game off. 24 to 22 if you're just tuning in. Been Cincinnati Christian with the momentum early on. New Miami hanging in there. Now they take the lead. A oh, nice pass. Beautiful. Devin McKinnon. Assist by Winston Spencer. Ties it up. 24-24. Good board. Oh, Spivey had an open opportunity to lane. Deonta Duncan, off the mark, no good, and that's rebound by Winston Spencer. Here comes Logan Woods back the other way. That's a travel. Oh. Underneath to Devin McKinnon, maybe got away with some steps. Yeah. Jared Lee is not having it. But it didn't count, and so is assistant coach Kevin Lakes. <laughs> Oh, what a drive. Weaving it down. Looking like Pac-Man. <laughs> Jordan Robinette looking like Pac-Man lays it in. 26-26. Under a minute to play here at the Cougar Den. K.J. Swain hands off to Kai Vance. Kai Vance out to Winston Spencer at the top of the key. K.J. Swain looking for some offense here. Drives a great the drive. And he's got it with a left-hander. 30 seconds left. CCS up on top of New Miami, 28 to 26. This is exactly what we expected to see here tonight. Such exciting basketball. Take the last shot here. New Miami looking to rebound from a loss. Cincinnati Christian looking to continue some momentum. Good no call there. Back up. And ooh. Jordan Robinette has the line for two. K.J. Swain with some good sportsmanship picks him up. Five ticks left. Jordan Robinette's going to head to the line. 71%. Look at Deonza Duncan's shoes. Uh, you know what? I, like, I was going to comment on that earlier. They're like chameleon. <laughs> Robinette has two at the line here. Sinks the first one. 28-27. Checking in is Elijah Faulkner. I think if you're a uh, Cincinnati Christian, give it to K.J. Swain. Last second shot. Sinks it. All tied up. 28-28. Brandon Sieverella heads in. Out goes Jordan Robinette. Bring a little bit of size in there. Here comes K.J. Swain. Oh, yeah. Swain's going to take the this. Guy. Three seconds left. Hand off oh, no. to Logan Woods. That doesn't get off. Ooh. We're going to head to the half, 28-28. What a half. We'll come back with some halftime stats, but first we'll talk to Miami Valley Conference Sports Information Director Kevin Annette right after this break. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Performance Toyota, located on Route 4 in Fairfield. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Matandy Steel Metal Products, a proud sponsor of Baden Athletics. Successphoto.com, providing memorable images of Butler County's high school student-athletes. C3 Contracting, 
pole barns and garages built by C3 Contracting. Call 513-519-4656 today for a complimentary quote on your next building product. Serving all of Butler County. Minix drive through Providing speedy, convenient service throughout many locations in Butler County. Minix drive through Bird's Grill and Bar. Located in Fairfield's Village Green. Our Fan of the Day sponsor. And Rick's Tavern and Grill located on Route 4. Our Performer of the Week gift certificate sponsor. We thank you for listening to a live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Report's YouTube channel. We encourage you to check out our website at www.bchssreport.com for all your local prep sports results, stories, and student-athlete features. Enjoy the rest of the game. Hey, this is Joey Vogt for The Report. One thing we strive to do here at The Report is recognize the local high school student athletes and their accomplishments to the best of our abilities, which is the reason why we partnered up with Performance Toyota and Rick's Tavern to crown a Performer of the Week. We choose a student athlete from each of our coverage area schools from any sports and let family, friends, and your school vote in The Report's Performer of the Week poll on our website. Tell us who you think should be in our Performer of the Week poll. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of the broadcast. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. We are here at the half at the Cougar Den, where it is 28-28, moments away from tip-off. Or actually, it's this third quarter uh, here in this Miami Valley Conference contest uh, of Butler County rivals. Uh, before we get to some halftime stats momentarily, uh, let us welcome in Miami Valley Conference Sports Information Director Kevin Jeanette. Kevin, it's always a pleasure uh, to chat with you, uh, talk about all things Miami Valley Conference. Um, as we have in the past, so thanks for joining us. Oh, great. It's my pleasure. Thanks for the invite. Well, first things first, Cincinnati Christian, New Miami, our two coverage area teams. Within the county, you can't say much, or enough, I should say, about these two schools, can you? Oh, no. Anybody that knows me knows after 30 years at uh, New Miami, they've always got a special place in my heart. I've got a lot of great memories there. But also, I've got some memories here at Cincinnati Christian. I've got a lot of family friends from church uh, when I sent my children to Landmark Christian, and I did some coaching out there. A lot of those families wound up here at Cincinnati Christian. Right. Well, I tell you what, on the conference as a whole, how has the winter sports season been shaping up um, as we're slipping? We're, we're already halfway through yeah, the season. Absolutely. Um, how have how things been going with the winter sports in, in terms of the, the respective seasons over the Miami Valley Conference? Oh, sure. Uh, certainly start with Cincinnati Country Days girls basketball team. They're one of the top Division Four teams in the state. On the boys basketball side, CHDA and CCD lead their respective divisions. Um, but certainly that's too close to call anyone. New Miami still in it. Cincinnati Christian still in it. I'm also looking forward to our uh, NBC swim meet in the postseason. The Miami Valley Conference is always exceptional in swimming. You know, we, we added Norwood a few years ago, and all that did was strengthen our wrestling with Norwood and North College Hill. Um, they're among the top teams in the city. But one of the big highlights here is in the winter has been the bowling team, the girls' bowling team from Cincinnati Christian. They're amazing. Uh, Crystal Wilson went to state last year, and she leads the conference with a 202 average, which would also lead the boys' team. So she, she's the real deal. Well, you know, I've always kept up with uh, the bowling program, and, and we wrote a story on the bowling team last year for Cincinnati Christian. Um, and I know uh, 
I know that bowling doesn't get talked about a lot, right. you know, and it's 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 nice to see uh, a little bit of publicity in terms of uh, some of the sports that aren't basketball, baseball, and football. Perfect. <laughs> well, what else is there going on um, regarding the Miami Valley Conference this winter season? Well, you saw something tonight. Uh, DeAndre <laughs> Duncan here for New Miami gets uh, his thousandth point, and he joins a club that uh, that grew by three already this year. Right, CHCA. Sean, yeah. Sure, Sean Ely from Clark, Aaron McCoy from Miami Valley Christian Academy, Cole Fisher from CHCA was the last. And I tell you, I'm not a math teacher. I taught English, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that Jordan Robinette is within knocking that thousand point barrier down as well. He's about 110, 120 points away. So you could see him join. We have four or five players uh, with a thousand points in their career. Uh, I'd imagine with what New Miami does on the offensive side of things, Jordan Robinette will probably hit it this year. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> and also I want to mention too, that for some Aaron and Roger Bacon played football in the Miami Valley Conference this fall. Right. In November, the athletic directors in the Miami Valley Conference voted to admit Roger Bacon and Purcell Marion in all sports beginning in the fall of 2021. All that does is strengthen an already strong and competitive league, and I'm really looking forward to it. Same thing with us. Right, with Kevin, we're going to get some halftime stats here. Well, always a pleasure talking with you, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, right. young man. I appreciate all right. it. Miami Valley Conference Sports Information Director Kevin Dinette. We're going to go ahead and take a break here. We'll talk some halftime stats. Joey's got the stats for us, and we'll go ahead and go through some scores with what's going on throughout the county. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Performance Toyota, located on Route 4 in Fairfield. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Matandy Steel Metal Products, a proud sponsor of Baden Athletics. Successphoto.com, providing memorable images of Butler County's high school student-athletes. C3 Contracting, pole barns and garages built by C3 Contracting. Call 513-519-4656 today for a complimentary quote on your next building product. Serving all of Butler County. Minix drive through providing speedy, convenient service throughout many locations in Butler County. Minix drive through Bird's Grill and Bar, located in Fairfield's Village Green. Our Fan of the Day sponsor. And Rick's Tavern and Grill, located on Route 4. Our Performer of the Week gift certificate sponsor. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Reports Radio Network. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt. Joey, we saw uh, basically a first half of action that we expected here, uh, here at the Cougar Den. Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I don't even think we caught our breath this, this uh, halftime. Uh, just fast paced from the get-go. And then both teams knocking down threes, uh, and you're seeing momentum for New Miami, and then Cincinnati Christian strips it right back. Strips it right back. It's, it's just who's gonna gain more of the momentum here in the second half? It's been a great game. I'd imagine right now you're using halftime as a recoup. I mean the Absolutely. game plan is probably the game the game plan is probably there it's probably there for both programs. But if I'm Carl Woods and Jerry Lee, let's rest up. <laughs> Absolutely. So let's rest up for for these next uh, 16 minutes. But um, Hey, let's go ahead and run down some stats here. Who's the leading scores for New Miami? Uh, so, uh, no surprise here. DeAndre Duncan, nine points. Uh, and then uh, Robinette, Trey Robinette, five. Spivey with four. Uh, Baker, two points. Faulkner, three points. And uh, Jordan Robinette with seven. And then on Cincinnati Christian side, there's only been three scores. Uh, Woods is the leading scorer with 11, uh, McKinnon with 9, and then K.J. Swain with 8. All right, Joey, hey, let's go ahead. Let's do, do our, our <laughs> once was supposed to be pregame keys to the games. Didn't get to it there, but hey, uh, number one was what? Deanna, Deanna, Deanna. Exactly, contained Duncan, and uh, so far uh, he's not hit the double-digit mark, right. but uh, he, he's going to be a crucial part of the second half. And then uh, number two was pace the game. Uh, Cincinnati Christian, don't let New Miami play what they want to play, you know, play at your pace and make them, you know, get a little nervous. And then on target, uh, both teams, honestly, are hitting their shots. I mean, when they take open shots, I mean, they're hitting them. Um, so it's, it's a matter of who's going to hit more of them here in the second half. So uh, it's going to be a very exciting second half coming up. 28-28. Both programs coming out uh, on fire. Uh, Speed, quickness, uh, the works. You name it. 
a, a, a little bit of uh, physicality, but I tell yeah. you what, it's been relatively under, under control here. I'm going to go with a bold statement here. If New Miami can pull this game out, it's going to be because of Faulkner. Well, we're going to go and keep an eye on that matchup then. All right, we're going to start the second half here. Uh, same starters as we had in, for both programs at the start of this contest. I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt for this Butler County rival Miami Valley Conference contest. Buckle up. <laughs> yep. I mean, to think about it, if New Miami would have connected with that last second shot there, they would have had the ball out of the break too. Yeah. Deonza Duncan just drops it for... He just drives the ball for, for Jordan Robinette. Say, come get it. Underneath to Trey Robinette. Trey Robinette doing a little bit of underneath work. Pump fake. Up and in. Pretty. Pretty. New I Miami. Like that. Yeah, New Miami starting out with the quick lead, 30-28. to 28. As you can see, things are a lot slower right now. <laughs> K.J. Swain dishes it off. To Devin McKinnon. Devin oh, McKinnon a had a little bit of a, a ball a carry. He, ball, he was carrying the ball on his hip there, wasn't he? <laughs> Jordan Robinette stops. Dishes it to his brother, Trey Robinette. Trey Robinette oh. takes it. And it's <laughs> in. <laughs> Back on That's defense. Yeah. They're going to call a foul on Jordan Robinette as that ball scoots out of Logan Wood's hands and into the Cougar Den. The Cougar Den just multiplied, didn't it, over there? <laughs> they didn't multiply. Oh, I see, I see what happened. The band went over there. <laughs> <laughs> KJ Swain over to Logan Woods. Logan Woods Good to luck. Devin McKinnon, and that's two. Beautiful. McKinnon's going to be a very big factor in this second half, too. New Miami holding on to a 33-30 lead. We're reaching the 650 mark of this third quarter. Over to Trey Robinette. Trey Robinette guarded by Devin McKinnon. Trey oh. from the outside. I think wow. Miami might have got, might have got a hand on it, but yeah, the New Miami bench was looking <laughs> for a tip, but they didn't get it. K.J. Swain hands it off to Logan Woods from the outside. And That's a great no, look. No-brainer right there. That was a no-brainer. Absolutely. He'll pull that trigger every time. Three-point bucket from Logan Woods ties this contest at 33-all. Jordan Robinette looks to throw a, rain, <laughs> a rainmaker. <laughs> I would not be surprised if Duncan just threw one up there. Drives it the hoop, hits the side of the backboard, and here comes... Since that Christian in transition. Just take it. KJ Swain up and good. Yes. 35 33. Cincinnati Christian. Grabbing and holding on to a little bit of that yep. momentum here in this third quarter. Deonza Duncan. A little switch off. Carl Woods wants to play basketball. He's on he's he was almost by the <laughs> Cougar, the midcourt <laughs> Cougar. Took it out of my mouth. <laughs> Foul on 13, Devin McKinnon. That'll be his second personal foul. He's got 11 points on the evening. Jordan Robinette. Stops, pops, and it's in. 35-35. Reaching five minutes to play here in this third quarter. Deonza Duncan supplying the defense oh. on KJ Swain. <laughs> That is a great matchup there. Logan Woods and Jordan Ramonet. It's an even better matchup. Elijah oh. Faulkner with the steal. Oh, dear. You got numbers. Jordan Ramonet from the outside. Oh. No good. Good save. But oh. right in the hands of Logan right Woods. Out. 
Logan Woods oh, underneath nice pass. to Cameron Rogers. Cameron Rogers will get two here. First one's in. 36 35, 440 left to go in the third quarter. Look at that, a 73.3% free throw shooter. These two teams are very good free throw uh, shooting teams, both in the 60s. Rogers sinks both of them. CCS up on top, 37 to 35. New Miami coming to this team, uh, nine and two overall, four and one in the Miami Valley Conference Gray. Drive oh, to the hoop, Jordan it. Back and forth. We're not going to see anything else but that. Back and forth. That's a scrabble. Yeah. Slipped inside the paint. Devin McKinney going to get called for a, a travel. Heading back the other direction. Too much sweat on that spot, Chris. Yeah, Carl Wood says timeout on that. 37-37, stay right with us. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Hey, this is Joey Vogt for The Report. One thing we strive to do here at The Report is recognize the local high school student athletes and their accomplishments to the best of our abilities, which is the reason why we partnered up with Performance Toyota and Rick's Tavern to crown a performer of the week. We choose a student athlete from each of our coverage area schools from any sports and let family, friends, and your school vote in the report's Performer of the Week poll on our website. Tell us who you think should be in our Performer of the Week poll. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of the broadcast. Welcome back to the Cougar Den. It's 37-37, 4-11 to play in the third quarter. I want to thank you for joining us. First time we're seeing a man-to-man uh, -man press here. Jordan Robinette tosses it on over to his brother, Trey Robinette. Elijah Faulkner trying to help him out with the screen, but he, he uses it that time. Oh. He got it. Enough separation. Trey Robinette got enough separation from that screen for Absolutely. Faulkner for that three-point bucket thing. What I say about Faulkner, he'll give you space to shoot that open shot. Logan Woods checking to see what he can do here. Dishes it off to Devin McKinnon who finds Cody Anderson. Oh, nice drive. Beautiful. That cuts the New Miami lead to one, 40 to 39, reaching three minutes to play here in the third quarter. Jordan Robinette having some fun with KJ Swain. Drive to the basket. Oh! <laughs> I heard that block from up here. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Cody Anderson got caught. Mother. He caught call with a the body there. They're gonna send Deion to Duncan to life. Hey, I'm telling you what, you got somebody like Cody Anderson who's sitting at six, <laughs> six two, six three, and little little Deion's and Duncan's going up against you. It's hard. It's hard not to run into him. You might want to check the ball though. It might be flat a little bit. <laughs> That was a block heard around Butler County. Deonta Duncan sinks the first one. And he sinks the second one. 42 to 39. New Miami. KJ Swain from the outside. That's it. Swain ties it up. Oh, nice. Dish. That's a travel. Oh. Yep, he traveled. Swain just said a pickup up top. Sorry, Chris. No, keep going. 
beautiful. Uh, he's got it open. Well, it was, a, it was a one heck of a dish by Deonza Duncan to Spivey underneath. Spivey should have just gone up with it. Yeah. Just gone up with it and said, let's just go straight up. Logan Woods, cut fake, and it's a block by Spivey. Going back the other direction. He's got to take it all the way. Beautiful. Laying Deonza Duncan in. 44-42, New Miami up on top of CCS. Is this a home game for New Miami? I know. <laughs> in, in a blue, in a blue gym. <laughs> KJ Swain almost got pickpocketed oh. by Deonza Duncan. Blocked uh, by Spivey. Stone away. I oh, should have went out with that. Here comes Trey Robinette. Trey Robinette. Look at the moves. Stop wide open. Nice baby jumper, no good. And it's probably about the time CCS slows it up, but yeah. they're not. And it's in. Wow. That was the most hard-earned <laughs> two points I've ever seen. Forty-four, forty-four. My goodness. Deonza Duncan says, "Let's slow it down here, fellas." Deonza Duncan spinning, stops, pops, and it's in. Oh. Forty-six, forty-four. Reaching the minute shot. mark. Bam! This is crazy. Logan Woods. This is the MVP right here. Logan Woods gives Cincinnati Christian a lead, 47 to 46, and the Cougar contingent is on their feet. <laughs> Spivey thought he was going to take it. Back to Jordan Robinette. Drives to the basket. That's a block. Yep. This gym's loud. The Cougar what Den is loud. Game. Off of Morris Road here in Fairfield Township. <laughs> you might want to you want you want to check your kids if you're if they're awake, Chris. Oh man. <laughs> oh, they're, they're they're not in bed. They can they, they can probably hear everything going on just a couple blocks away. Looks like Deonta Duncan's gonna probably take it himself, but he dishes it off to Jordan Robinette. Over to Sierra Vela. Jordan Robinette's got it himself. Spivey trying to give him a ooh, screen. Jordan Robinette over to Trey Robinette, and that's no good. Good Spivey point, Spivey. with the shot. Uh-oh, 2 on one Beautiful! I thought he stepped back. Here we go! Oh! Buckle up for a fourth quarter, Chris. It is loud. 49 to 46. We'll be right back on the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. We thank you for listening to a live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Reports YouTube channel. We encourage you to check out our website at www.bchssreport.com for all your local prep sports results, stories, and student-athlete features. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Report ra uh, Radio Network. And <laughs> Network. 49 to 46, Joey. Um, last eight minutes is going to be fun. Absolutely. We don't know who's getting the momentum. Because right. once one team has it, the other team finds a way to answer. And they're just chalking up threes and they're making them. So it's going to be a fun eight minutes. Here we go. Eight minutes left to play in this Miami Valley Conference Butler County Rival Contest. 
CCS has the ball out of the break. Underneath the diamond, get it back to the move. And one! Beautiful move inside. 51 46, New Miami. After this free throw, could be surrendering its largest lead of the game. I want to thank Cincinnati Christian students, Kira Becker and Jeremiah Hester, for helping us out. Do a little bit of a career shadow day for, for us with the Butler County High School Sports Report. 51 46, if you're just tuning in, it's been one heck of a ride here. Unbelievable. Here at Cincinnati Christian Schools. What the floater? Goodness gracious. Uh, sometimes you just wonder what that was all about there. Oh. Since he got away with one. I was going to say, he's looking for a travel there, but no call. Deontay uh -oh. from the outside. No good. Rebound, good KJ Swint. Not a good play there. Uh-oh. Oh. Trey Robinette from the outside. No good. We're going to head on down to my, uh, pardon me, since I Christian's direction. Tipped out of bounds by Danny Spivey. Back in comes Faulkner. I think he'll be crucial here for the last seven minutes. He gets those screens up top. Look for an open shot outside. Well, it was working, and uh, Trey Robinette was set up on that last three-point bucket, but it's been Cincinnati Christian ever since then. Under seven to play here. 51-46, Cincinnati Christian. That's not a good yeah, pass Logan all. Woods tried to dish it into Kai Vance, but Jaron Phillips there to pick it off. Here comes Cincinnati Christian the other direction. Trey Robinette hits the front of the rim. Rebound by Devin McKinnon. Uh -oh. Logan Woods back the other way. Jordan Robinette oh, grabs possession. Here comes New Miami. Here. Stuck into the corner, but you're going to take it all the way. Good play. Good play. Kai Vance slapped with, a th uh, with his third foul. And that's going to send Jordan Robinette to the line for two. We haven't even hit our scoreboard yet, have we? With no, what's going on around the no. county? Jordan Robinette takes it first. 51-47. In and out. Boy, that ball was inside the rim yeah. and said, no, we're not going in. And that rims out. Stays at 51-47. That's off the knee. Yep. Yeah, Deonza Duncan pokes it off his knee. Yep. And we're going to head back the other direction. And New Miami has him for another year. Ooh. They got a couple of people uh, for, yeah. for another year. Yeah, but Cincinnati Christian has sophomore Logan Woods for two more years. Yep. Trey Robinette looking for about an 80-footer. He is not afraid to shoot. Good defense. But recovered by Deonza Duncan. And Cameron Rogers is going to get slapped with a foul. It's scrappy right there. That's Cameron's fourth personal foul. That, that's big. Spencer comes on for uh, Vance. Trey Robinette. Kick up top. Inside the goal. If Faulkner can do that every time, and New Miami does that, it's a whole different ball game. 51-49. Drive inside. Yes. 
Oh. Wide open, Winston Spencer off the mark. Oh, he got fouled! I don't know if they're after gonna, the three. They may be calling that after the three. Yep, they're gonna call it a dead ball foul after the shot. Inbounds. Winston Spencer won't be seeing three shots. Wow, that's big Ooh. time right there. I think New Miami got away with one there. I've always thought that hey, on the follow uh -huh. through, that's a follow through is considered the shot. Uh -huh. So Winston Spencer might have gotten cheated by by uh, three free throws. Oh. PJ Swain. Oh, Elijah Falk through skies that is the board. A big board. Taking it all the way. Yeah. One. Big bucket. And that ties it up. 51-51. What we got going on here, Chris? We got technical foul. Uh-oh. Well, looks like a technical foul on the Cincinnati Christian. Gordon Robinette getting a couple shots here, Joey. Sinks the first one. Do you want 71% free throw shooter? Uh, yeah, I think we're going to alternate free throws here. Yeah. It's a double technical. Logan Wood's going to get himself. Hey, you know what? Here in the end, you're playing this game. Two Butler County rivals, Miami Valley Conference. This is all, all for the game right there. A absolutely. The it's justifiable. Nobody's fighting. We're all, we're all having a good time here. Logan Woods. Sinks both. Boom. This has been just an incredible game. And we got a timeout here. Catch our breath for a minute, huh? Yeah, for about the 15th time today. <laughs> 520 left, 53-52. Since I'm Christian up on top of New Miami. Stay right with us. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. I'm Jerry Snodgrass, Executive Director of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. One of my long-standing goals is to help people understand that high school sports are about so much more than wins and losses. The OHSAA promotes education-based athletics, where sports are an extension of the classroom. Our schools all want to win, but at the end of the day, it's all about sportsmanship, leadership, and making sure that academics are a priority. Thank you for your support of high school sports. We thank you for listening to a live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Report's YouTube channel. We encourage you to check out our website at www.bchssreport.com for all your local prep sports results, stories, and student-athlete features. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to Cincinnati Christian. Joey, what's going on around the county right now? All righty, we have Monroe. 46-38 uh, over Franklin in the fourth quarter. Uh, Edgewood and Kings. Uh, no score there. Uh, Madison Dixie as well, no score. Uh, still no updates. But we do have a final. Baden beating McNicholas 52-48. Uh, Hamilton 72-47 over um, Lakota West. Princeton over Fairfield 66-55. Beautiful alley up laying from Logan Woods to Kai Vance. And that puts Cincinnati like Christian. Up on top, 55-52. Jordan Robinette slings it to Deonza Duncan. Deonza stops, pops in. I tell you what, he has ice in his veins. Deonza Duncan has 17 points today. Good double team. You know, if you're new Miami, I wouldn't be too upset about that foul. No. Devin McKinnon had, uh, pardon me, Cameron Rogers had good position underneath. It was almost... Force and Spivey to foul him on that one. 55-54. After Deonza Duncan leaning inside the paint. Rogers rattles the first one in. Big 
Kick free throws. Sinks both of them. That puts it to 57-54 CCS. Under five to play. Jordan Robinette tosses up to Deonza, who gets it back to Jordan Robinette. Robin uh -oh. to Trey. No good. Oh, dear. Oh, well, Faulkner ended up trying. Oh, yeah. Faulkner skied up there. Yeah. With, without a doubt, had that rebound. They're going to. Didn't give him a chance to land. They're going to give a Winston yeah. Spencer the foul. An unauthorized box out. Yeah. Is that such thing as an uh, unauthorized I box mean, out? Yeah, well, he didn't give him a chance to land. I think that's why they called that foul. That's a, that's a good call. One on one bonus. Faulkner at the line. Faulkner hits the first one. Four twenty-seven left to play here in this final quarter. Faulkner knocks down the second. Watch. One point ball game in favor of CCS. Uh -oh. Spencer from way downtown. No good. Good board. Kai Vance stops. Back out to KJ oh. Swain. Oh. That hits the front of the rim. Oh. Deonza Duncan's going to get called for a reach in, trying to pull that uh, ball away from yeah. from Kai Vance. And that's going to be one on one bonus for Cincinnati Christian. Vance good. Tell you what, both of these teams making their free throws when it counts. Kai Vance, 75% shooter at the line. Sinks them both. Another three point ball game here. Cincinnati Christian has the margin. Reaching four minutes to play if you're just tuning in. Cincinnati Christian relatively holding momentum. Uh oh! You're gonna have that guy open! Trey Robinette! Uh -oh. oh! No good. Deonza with the bucket. No oh, good. He was down last to foul, yeah. It's by me. Going to the line. A lot going on. Yeah. A, lot, a, a lot can happen in 10 seconds, <laughs> and a lot just happened right there. Spivey's going to head the line for two. Oh, probably one. Yeah, we got a one-on-one -on -one bonus. Here. No, he is going to line for two. Yeah, he went up for one. 59-57. Spivey knocks them both down. Clutch. Here we go. One point contest here. Cincinnati Christian has the upper hand advantage. Over to Cameron Rogers. Cameron Rogers to Kai, Kai Vance. Kai Vance finds Logan Woods. Who dishes it underneath. Oh, he stepped on the line. Yep. Joey Luke, <laughs> the referee, calls it before the whistle's blown. Deonza Duncan calls for it, and here he gets it. Big, big. Offensive possession here. Deonza Duncan stops. Stops, pops. Not a good shot selection there. Yeah, Contest when, that shot. When you're the smallest guy on the court, you're going to end up shooting through some trees. <laughs> KJ Swain stops. Oh, That's oh, 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 oh. Oh. Slows it up. Jordan Robinette has it. Trey Robinette. Trey Robinette looking to go for it. But slows it back up. Oh, it man. hits Jordan Robinette. 
Under Here we go. Under three to play. Jordan driving. Stripped. Over to Deontay Duncan. Oh. Three. No oh. good. Kai Vance with the board. This new Miami crowd is waiting to go crazy. Deontay Duncan. Deontay Duncan hobbling off. In comes Brandon Sevierfella. And we're going to call a timeout. Yeah. 59-58. These last 2.30 would be pretty uh, pretty wild. Uh, Stay right here at Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. I'm Jerry Snodgrass, Executive Director of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. One of my long-standing goals is to help people understand that high school sports are about so much more than wins and losses. The OHSAA promotes education-based athletics, where sports are an extension of the classroom. Our schools all want to win, but at the end of the day, it's all about sportsmanship, leadership, and making sure that academics are a priority. Thank you for your support of high school sports. Welcome back to the Cougar Den here at Cincinnati Christian. It's 59 to 58. Joey, what I'm watching right now here this fourth quarter is that you got one team trying to do too much and the other team doing enough. Uh, you're right. New Miami are taking contested shots or taking bad shots, which they don't need when they're down one. And when on Cincinnati Christian, they're doing everything they can to try and pull away from New Miami. But, you know, if they just need that one big moment, we'll see if it can happen here in the next 2.10. I'm sorry, 2.30. Hey, don't short, uh, uh, don't short them time, Joey. This has been a fantastic game. My thought process is <laughs> out the window. 59-58. If you're just tuning in, it's been one fantastic ball game, which we had expected. Cincinnati Christian coming into this contest. At six and five overall, New Miami nine and two. Kai Vance, Cameron Rogers, guarded by Spivey. He drives. Spivey's going to get slapped with a foul. Cincinnati Christian making their own lanes, finding their own drives at the basket, forcing New Miami to foul, and it's working. Rogers sinks number one. He's got seven points on the day. Cincinnati Christian has made their last six free throws here down the stretch. Well, oh, what an offensive board! Oh, Spivey just let let KJ Swain on in there, didn't he? Wow. Jordan Robinette slows it up at the top of the key. Driving to the lane. And he gets fouled. Oh, yeah. Robinette has an opportunity to tie this bad boy up. 204 remaining. Probably the longest 204. <laughs> oh. A rare miss from Jordan Robinette. A rare one. Especially as a 71% free throw shooter. Robinette's second shot. And that's off the oh, back Faulkner of the rim. Gets Faulkner the gets the board back, but it's away. Wow. Logan Woods gets covered up. Oh, too much there. Uh oh. Elijah Faulkner's down. Faulkner's going to hobble off himself. Officials timeout. And New Miami calls a timeout. We're going to call a timeout as well. 60-58, to 58, under two to play here at the Cougar Den. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. Hey, this is Joey Vogt for The Report. One thing we strive to do here at The Report is recognize the local high school student athletes and their accomplishments to the best of our abilities which is the reason why we partnered up with Performance Toyota 
and Rick's Tavern to crown a performer of the week. We choose a student athlete from any sports and let family, friends, and your school vote in the report's performer of the week poll on our website. Tell us who you think should be in our performer of the week poll. And most importantly, enjoy the rest of the broadcast. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Report. Sixty to fifty-eight, one forty-four remaining in here in this fourth quarter. Oh dear! Cincinnati Christians got it. 139 left. And it, this is probably one of those instances that if Cincinnati Christian, uh, they can put a dagger into this yes. contest right here. You give Swain a chance. Make a swing outside for a three here. KJ Swain guarded tight by Deonza Duncan. Deonza Duncan over to Logan Woods. Oh, had the wide open shot there. Logan Woods back to KJ Swain. Reaching the minute mark. And you, you know, you wonder if, yeah. if uh, Cincinnati Christians is going to play ball control here until um, until somebody fouls. Yep. Timeout on the floor. 59 seconds left. We'll take a break. You're watching the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. I'm Jerry Snodgrass, Executive Director of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. One of my long-standing goals is to help people understand that high school sports are about so much more than wins and losses. The OHSAA promotes education-based athletics, where sports are an extension of the classroom. Our schools all want to win, but at the end of the day, it's all about sportsmanship, leadership, and making sure that academics are a priority. Thank you for your support of high school sports. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Performance Toyota, located on Route 4 in Fairfield. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Matandi Steel Metal Products, a proud sponsor of Baden Athletics. Successphoto.com, providing memorable images of Butler County's high school student athletes. C3 Contracting, pole barns and garages built by C3 Contracting. Call 513-519 4656 today for a complimentary quote on your next building product, serving all of Butler County. Minix drive through providing speedy, convenient service throughout many locations in Butler County. Minix drive through Bird's Grill and Bar. Lo all right, Society Christian inbounds it. Logan Woods has it, guarded by Jordan Robinette. I'd imagine the defense is going to be stifling here. KJ Swain drives at the hoop. It gets tugged on the jersey by DeAndre Duncan. And I was going to say, there's a certain time where, you know, you're getting down, you got to start fouling. I mean, that's not a bad foul. Checking in is Cody Anderson, checking out is Kai Vance. Now we'll see how crucial these uh, free, throws. free throws really are. Yep. Ty Van set the line for one and one here. He misses it. But it's oh, wow. back. No oh, good. No, here comes Jordan good Robinette. If you Jordan are Robinette in Miami, you do not do anything 
No contested shots. Oh, oh rubbing it from the S side. No good. Rebound by Cody Anderson. Now you want to start fouling if need be. Looks like Elijah Faulkner is going to get slapped for that foul. And that will send Devin McKinnon to the line for a one-on-one -on -one bonus. Did not like that stop, shot selection at all. You have to find a better shot than that. Thirty second timeout for New Miami. We'll take another quick thirty second break. Stay right with us as we're winding down. We thank you for listening to a live broadcast on the Butler County High School Sports Reports YouTube channel. We encourage you to check out our website at www.bchssreport.com for all your local prep sports results, stories, and student athlete features. Enjoy the rest of the game. Back here at the Cougar Den, 27 seconds left, 60 to 58, McKinnon at the line. And we got a stoppage in play here. And the band just got, <laughs> they, I don't know if they, what would you do to the band if they got a technical foul? <laughs> Man, not, not a uh, happy car was. You, you, you take away their drumsticks. <laughs> take away the drumsticks. Big miss there. 60 to 58. It's going to keep it a one possession game here. It will. The new Miami's got the shooters. Hell, both both programs have, have the shooters. Oh, that's yeah. Elijah Faulkner. Rebound. Here comes Jordan Robinette. Not Pretty sure. I don't know if you're going to... Uh -huh. Would you push it quickly? I don't know. I'd probably take... They're going to take the last second. I'm, Here it I'm, is. I think. Here we go, Chris. It's yes, sir, from the outside. New Miami. New Miami's ball off the back of Devin McKinnon. I think it's time, time out, New time Miami. Out. We're going to stay right here. Uh, it, it, I mean, this is it right here. Oh, yeah. Six seconds left to play. It's 60 to 58. Inbound underneath the basket. I mean, this inbound pass, you can actually go to the grade school basketball drawing board. Yeah. You know, send each each player at the corner of the, of the free throw line. Um, you're, you're bound to get somebody open. Absolutely. And then if you set a screen on the inside, have somebody come out, open shot down in the corner. Anything can happen here in the next six seconds. Uh, no, no one generally the new Miami uh, uh, game plan. I wouldn't be surprised if there's screen set up for, yeah. for a game-winning three-point. Absolutely. Deion's a Duncan add add to his uh, oh. point total here. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Butler County High School Sports Reports Network. I'm Chris Vote alongside Joey Vote. Had fantastic help from Cincinnati Christian. Kira Becker and Jeremiah Hester for helping us out. I want to thank them. What is on? Standing on their feet here in the Cougar Den. The minds here. 6.1, 60 to 58. It is called a Super Tuesday matchup for a reason, Chris. Hey, you've been calling it Super Tuesday <laughs> since last Tuesday. Here we go. Deonta Duncan to Jordan Robinette. Oh, yes. No good. Cincinnati Christian gets it. 60 to 58. And that's the final score. What a ball game. What a ball game, Joey. If you're Cincinnati Christian, you did everything on that last play that you could do. It was a contested shot. What, so what a game. This has been an incredible game. Well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll recap, and we'll send you off.
Cincinnati Christian wins 60 to 58. We'll be right back. We'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors. Performance Toyota, located on Route 4 in Fairfield. Never pay more when you shop Route 4. Performance Toyota. Matandi Steel Metal Products, a proud sponsor of Baden Athletics. Successphoto.com, providing memorable images of Butler County's high school student athletes. C3 Contracting, pole barns and garages built by C3 Contracting. Call 513 519 4656 today for a complimentary quote on your next building product, serving all of Butler County. Minix Drive Through, providing speedy, convenient service throughout many locations in Butler County. Minix Drive Through, Bird's Grill and Bar, located in Fairfield's Village Green, our Fan of the Day sponsor, and Rick's Tavern and Grill, located on Route 4, our Performer of the Week gift certificate sponsor. Welcome back to the Butler County High School Sports Report Network. I'm Chris Vogt alongside Joey Vogt. 60-58, to 58, Cincinnati Christian takes care of New Miami. Um, just looking at that last play from New Miami, it, I just don't know if there's enough screen set for New Miami to get um, maybe a better shot off than a three-point shot. I'm pretty sure that uh, New Miami was looking for that three-point win. I, I think I agree with that one. And, I mean, if you're a Cincinnati Christian, you scripted that perfect. You wanted to stay away from the three, and then you also got a contested shot, uh, which didn't fall in. Cincinnati Christian probably played their best second half of the season. Uh, I'm sorry, of the year. Right. Uh, it, it was a great game. Constant back and forth, a momentum. It's, 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 it's what we expected. Exactly. Well, uh, two things. Cincinnati Christian needed this win. Huge win. Statement win here for uh, Carl Woods. And number two, DeAndre Duncan, uh, congratulations to him. Gets Absolutely. his uh, uh, 1,000 point and uh, in county. In county. But we're going to send you guys off. Cincinnati Christian takes care of New Miami. 60-58. to 58. I'm Chris Vote alongside Joey Vote. Uh, so long. <laughs>